How's it going? Demon Driver here. I'm going to show you in this video how I use spackle, lightweight spackle, on the wings of my Emirates 777-9X. We're going to spackle the wings smooth, and that's what we're going to do in this video. All right, come on. Okay, Demon Driver here. We are, we're back. Okay, let's look at the things that we are going to need to, um, the tools that we'll need for spackling and adding spackle to the wings of our Emirates 777-9X. I have right here a three inch trowel and then I have a tool which uh, is better known as a paint shield and it's mainly designed for um, getting rid of uh, paint strokes on a wall but it's also very good for smoothing over a whole surface that's been spackled that'll give you a smooth you know smooth line and then last but not least our one-time lightweight spackle right here this is a great product this is the best lightweight spackle on the market by red devil i love this stuff you guys seen me use this before and we're now going to spackle in this wing and uh that's what we're going to do the wing is on a flat um table i.e uh um door but uh it's perfect perfect hobby table and then there's a plastic table underneath so you need a flat surface to do this with so let's get right down to business all right let's uh let's get cracking here first of all make sure that there's no debris no major debris on the uh, wing and get a brush Debris is bad because it's gonna, it'll foul up the works when you start adding the spackle. Okay, uh, let's begin. First area I'm gonna spackle in will be this area here from the uh, number two engine inboard. So what I'll do is I'll get my spackle and I go ahead and just scoop on. Let's get the seam in here between the inner and outer wing piece portion when I hot wire both pieces and I put some spackle into the uh, into the seam and I just gently press it in like so and the uh, purpose of the spackle is that it will give me a very smooth surface once it's uh, once it's been sanded smooth I'm gonna have an incredibly smooth surface that then I can laminate with the 132nd balsa and I'll have a modified Clark Y from here out and it'll be a wing um, airfoil and a smooth wing that's going to give me tremendous lift and still be super lightweight. So I just keep troweling in the uh, spackle and just gently pressing it into the uh, onto the styrofoam surface like so. Now you can go across if you want, go down the uh, the little ridges that the hot wiring made when we uh, had the process of hot wiring what it did was it made some some lines it's very hard to find you know to do any hot wiring where that a little bit of that happens you know what I'm saying or a little bit of that doesn't happen it's very hard to prevent that okay now that I've done that and I have the whole surface uh, pretty much spackled as you can see let me get another light on the situation here starting to get a little dark. I've got the whole surface spackled. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to come in, see how it's all, all these little ridges and, and little bits of spackle and stuff like that. Well, remember the tool I showed you, this paint shield, right? Paint shield. What I do is I come in with the paint shield, like so, and I start from the leading edge, and I just gently hold it, and I come across, and there we go. Now, yeah, you're going to have some little, little striations and little, you know, little things. That's not that bad. Don't worry about that, because in the process of doing all this, 
when I spackle it, I'm going to have to clean it up anyway when it dries, spackle. There's going to be, when I do this, there's always about two steps. There's always about two sessions of doing the spackling and then sanding, and then it's smooth enough where I can then laminate with the balsa. But I can tell you right now, this is the biggest wing I've ever done this process with, so this is massive. So now that I've gone ahead and done that, and that portion is done, what I can now do is I can use, always reuse spackle. I mean, I got the excess off. Go ahead and dig this off the shield and pop it right down onto this outer surface like this and we'll use it here and then of course clean off your uh, clean off the paint shield because you want to always keep this clean but this is a great tool for doing this with okay and then I go ahead and start start spackling in this area try and use your spackle sparingly each one of these uh, buckets costs about anywhere from seven to nine dollars US. Um, don't ever spend more than nine dollars for one of these, okay? Unless you're in Canada or, or Mexico or you're in a place where this stuff is really expensive. In Europe, the UK, Ireland, you have similar versions of this, different names. But similar, similar type products. What I found is Hobbyco has a has a product like this. There's a couple of companies in the RC business that sell products like this, but they're a fortune. It's just spackle. All it is is lightweight spackle, but they sell it at a fortune. You get a small tub for seven, eight, nine. <laughs> go to, yeah, go to Hobbytown USA, which is a good hobby company. I love Hobbytown. Go to Tower Hobby, go whatever, and look at how much the hobby spackle costs. It's a fortune. Buy one time. That's the, that's the key. I'm, giving you a big bit of information right there. Use it to your advantage. All right, so I just keep troweling in the spackle in the outer portion of the wing. Very gently, very easily, keep troweling it on. And I just keep doing that until I have the entire wing surface spackled. And then I come in with that, with that shield again. Okay, I come in with the paint shield. Now that I have uh, the spackle down on the outer portion, I come in with the paint shield. Just very gently move it across the wing, and then I do it on this portion here. Very gently. Any area where I have a true gouge, I have to come in with the spackle again, and that's fine. That's not a that's not that much of a big deal. Perfect. Okay. And then what I do is I take the excess and I scoop it back into the spackle container to be used again. And that's it. Close up your container because this stuff will dry out, and then you're then you're in trouble. So I'll let that dry. That'll take about a good because of the size of it because it's so massive. That's going to take probably a good 24 hours um, to dry properly because it's such a big surface area. Um, I've come in, you know, 10, 15 hours later where I think it's dry, and then I'll take a pad and I'll find it's still wet in some areas. So. That's how you spackle a wing smooth, my friends, with the lightweight spackle, and then you come in with your, uh, come in with a, I'll probably put the uh, Mod Podge across there, and then I'll add my uh, 132nd Balsa laminate sheet to the surface of our 777 9X wing. Alright guys, this is Demon Driver, as always, thank you for watching, bye bye.